Hi guys, welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Hope you all practice the data analyzing processes in your homes because of the pandemic situation in the world. But this is a very useful time period to you to do the self-study practicals. Okay, today I will going to explain you about preparing temperature map as requested by a subscriber of this channel. If there are any suggestions of you, please leave a comment and I will help you to take support in case of difficulties. This is the Excel data sheet which includes average temperature data in some locations of Sri Lanka. You can purchase those data from Meteorology Department but today I have prepared this data sheet with random values. You should prepare this Excel sheet with location name and the XY coordinates of the points and temperature values. First, I am going to plot these locations on ArcMap. To do that, first open ArcMap, then click on search tab. In here, type as Excel to table. You can choose this Excel to table conversion tool. Here, you can choose the Excel data sheet. And you can change the output uh, table name and location and then click OK. Now the created table has added to ArcMap window. By right click on this table and click on display XY data. Here you can choose the X field as X coordinate and Y field as Y coordinate. No need to set the Z values here and select the coordinate system. Then click OK. Again click on OK. Now the points I have added to ArcMap window and I am going to export these points into my folder. Right click on this point feature class. Then click on data. Export data. Here you can browse the output feature class location. Then remove the previous data classes. By opening the attribute table of this location point, you can see the temperature values and XY coordinate of these locations. Then I am going to add the country outline for this map. Let's prepare our IDW for these values. To do that, click on search, then type as IDW. Now click on IDW 3D Analyst tool. In here, you can select the input point feature as location. Set value field should be changed as temperature field, and you can change the output raster location and give a name. Other settings can be remaining as the default value. Then click on environment tab. Here, the processing extent should be changed as same as layer outer boundary polygon under the raster analysts. Tab, we should assign a mask as outer boundary polygon. Then click OK. This IDW read the Z values of given points and interpolate nearest value by calculating non values. Now you can see all island has been covered by different temperature values. You can change the color ramp of this IDW to enhance the quantities of temperature. To do that, right click on this IDW, then go to properties. Click on Symbology tab. Here you can change the number of classes. As you wish, I am going to change this as 15. And I am going to choose the color ramp as. But I need to invert this color ramp as low temperature areas in blue colors and high temperature areas in red colors. So select all. Right click on this. Click on flip colors, then click on apply, ok. Now you can see a meaningful map has been created with suitable colors. You can change the color ramp and number of classes according to your project. Finally, you can export this kind of map for your purposes and get more information for your analysis. This is the final output 
which I have created from the SarcMath window. You can watch our previous videos to take some tips regarding preparation of map layout. If you want to do these lessons in single medium, leave a comment in comment section. I have uploaded the sample data sheet in description so you all are able to practice the procedures and prepare a map like this. This is only for showing the method but if you have data from high amount of points, the accuracy of this map become increased. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us.